Why do I waste my time? Why? <sighs> you okay, bud? Uh, fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ice, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver-tongued American betrayed and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. Uh, <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. What? I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, <laughs> it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Uh, yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Hey! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Husaconic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not that. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. 
This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air, like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what a thing you want? The girls the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. You avoid the mines, yes? That is what controls are for. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European. that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I, um... I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> in the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, what? Well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. Uh, the, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. Huh? <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, well you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go.
Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What now? Well, now I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this! Missing something. Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. I'm lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000th. This is my life's work. It is incredible. What? Creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Where's your 
creation now. I'll be fine in a minute. There. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Now you head in there, friend. Go on. You? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. 
。谁呀、啊？啊。What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What you mean? You're real sick. You. It's a progressive disease. And you'll be. Now the best thing is rest and getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. White, you okay there? D4. Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they... Want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't I ain't played my my final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving lives than winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly, no doubt. What about the women? You sound like Hosea. I miss him. I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my bag? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we There is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek. I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. 
Watch there, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time and no traitors. Charles, be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing there? We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. You'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Yeah, a boat's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Isaiah. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Guarma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Not... I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh... Guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? There's the bridge. Hey there, mister. There should be some canoes what? down to the right here. What are you getting off for? That'll do. Come on. Come on. We gotta stick together. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles upriver. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rain's Fall and the Eagle Flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here is not a crazy idea. 
This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. Just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Let's walk it from here. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Y you'll get away if you know what's good for you. Good evening. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. Hey, you know a place called Beaver Hollow? All I know is the devil's in these hills and he ain't gonna stop till he got us all. Can you help us? We're trying to find a spot called Beaver Hollow. We don't take time with outsiders around here. These Murphy Hills, stranger, might watch where you wander. Howdy. You son of a bitch. It's all good. Calm down. Have a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. See why folks don't want to come around here. Ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No, but I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Hey, get back on your horse. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. I said... You take one, I'll take the other. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of the... This hill there. OK. 
Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's the stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Let's surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. Go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? You take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Annisburg, right? Yes. They... 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 they um... It's okay, miss. The others, they... They killed them. You're safe now. Just... Try to breathe. They're animals? <laughs> Oh, 
It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. And this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. Yeah. Hill. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Mona. Ma! Ma! Meredith! She's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, ma'am. Murphy group got her. Oh, my darling. How did you manage uh, to? I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just... Keep her warm and keep her safe. <sighs> this is death. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. Thanks, buddy. How you get on? Okay. Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Micah and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dutch, did you miss me? I found her drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. Funny, you Shit. Back Who and drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't even stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them, and I tell them again. Now I've got God's ear. You told who what? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, She's shoot crazy. me. She ain't worthy. <laughs> you told on no, me. You're you not betrayed so now, me. What? Just calm down. Arthur? <laughs> She's a fool. Get her out of here. You know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Damn. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah.
You're a nasty woman, Miss Crenshaw, a nasty woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it.